Good morning, guys. It is currently half past 5 a.m. and I am out doing something a little bit different for you guys today. I'm out with a fly rod. I've not used it in probably a year. I've only been out fishing really with a fly, maybe 10, 15 times in my life. Um, and I'm doing something today that is very, very difficult. And that is trying to catch a barbel on the fly rod and on a conventional fly as well. Um, so that is gonna be a really hard task for me today. We've got 30 to 40 mile an hour winds later on this afternoon. I'm gonna be targeting anything and everything in between, chub, perch if I can do. And at some point, fingers crossed, we might even be able to get a barbel. chub down here. Probably as big as four and a half pound. They're right in front of me. Got one. We got one. Yep. Yep. How awesome is that? That's a chub. <laughs> not my target species today on the fly. But definitely a fish I'll take and it's not a bad size one either. This may not have been the plan for this session, but it was expected on the fly. The first fish of this barbel session is a chub. First fish taken today, you can see that little pink fly right in the corner of its mouth. Kind of looks a bit like a maggot. It's actually probably slightly bigger than I'd originally estimated. This is probably a fish of just about pushing four pound, or not too far off anyway. He's not a target species but I will cast at any chub I see today because <laughs> I don't think the barbel's going to be an easy feat. Fish on, fish on, there we go. Once again, a chub, not a barbel. Any single chance I get at getting a chub or perch or anything like that, I'm going to try and take it. Not quite as big as the first one, but still a really nice chub. And on the fly gear, they all feel great. Look at that. Little pink one. Hooked in exactly the same place as that first one was. Let's get him straight back. Right now, I have bought a box of flies with me today. Um, now, when I researched online about fly fishing for barbel, all the information turned to these. These are squirmy worms, and they're probably one of the most commonly used baits, I believe, um, for targeting a barbel on the fly. But to me, they just look like micro jigs. And if I want to catch one of these barbel on the fly, just like the chub you've just seen me catch, I want to be using conventional flies. So I've actually got a little box with me here. This is a, a box of assorted flies, uh, some of which I've brought off the internet, some of which I've found or got off people. Um, there's multiple different ones, ranging from nymphs to a few dry flies, which we're obviously not going to use, to some big streamers. Even got a bread fly um, that I actually used to catch chub with right here when I did some small stream fishing one time with a fly rod. So I've got all my bases covered. I'm probably gonna catch a few more chub today, but I really am hoping for the barbel. And that's what we're really gonna go for. I'm gonna be using small nymph style baits, I think to try and target the barbel. Things that look like small maggots, grubs, shrimp, maybe even some that imitates a pellet since these fish are heavily fished for in this river. You might be able to find one. But for now, maybe we'll find another chub or two. Make sure there's always a nice fresh blob of putty on there. There we go. Okay, I am guess I'm cheating a little bit. I've had a few runs down this swim, I've not caught anything, so. I'm stood next to an elderberry bush. Fish like elderberries. <laughs> so I might as well throw a few in. I'm sure there's no fly anglers out there that'll disagree with that. <laughs>
Go on, we go on. Yep. That is not a barbel, definitely not a barbel. <laughs> it would have ripped off downstream by now. It definitely feels like a chub. Those big wary head shakes and just holding the float. Yep, that is a chub, albeit a nice one. And I did kind of cheat a little bit with this swim. Elderberry bush right next to me. Obviously they're falling off into the water and these chub must be feeding on them. I threw in a couple of palmfuls of elderberries and it didn't take long before this chub then took it. Cheating. Oh. And that is a very nice chub too. The fish are coming really, really well on the fly now. And by fish, I don't mean barbel, I mean chub. Now I am running this bait just off the bottom or just trundling along the bottom or even a little bit higher up in the water if I see these fish rising. And that's probably one of the reasons why I've not had a barbel yet. But I just really wanted to wet the line and get a couple of fish on the bank. And the fish I have caught have been absolutely fantastic. I mean, look at this one. Probably fish of about three and three quarters, similar size to the first one I caught today. The wind's starting to pick up, so we're gonna move out to some different swims now and hopefully we'll find the barbel that we're after today. I really, really, really would like a barbel on the fly. Let's get moving. Now, just like any other time I come out barbel fishing, I'm targeting the snags, I'm targeting the overhanging trees, the gravel beds, the gaps in between the weeds, and that's why I'm rolling down these little nymphs to try and get these barbel to take it. Now, obviously we haven't had action from the barbel so far, but I have seen a couple, and believe it or not, I have had a couple nose away from the bait. So I am hopeful that they will be interested in these baits that I'm using today. Now you may have noticed I'm using a very, very long leader. That was advised online. I don't really know anyone that's really targeted barbel properly. Um, so I did a bit of research and found out that you need a very, very um, long amount of mono on your spool, or at least it helps. So I've got probably about 15 foot of mono um, attached to the fly line. And then I've obviously got a tapered leader like you would do in normal fly fishing. Um, that tapers off down to about six to eight pound-ish. Obviously, it depends how many times you get snagged up and have to retie. And that's how I'm trying to catch these fish. So I'm still keeping my fingers crossed. I'm paying attention to these overhanging trees, the snags. And if I keep finding these chub, more than likely the barbel aren't gonna be too far behind and hopefully I'll get one. Guys, can you believe it? This is the spot where we were catching baby carp, baby crusions, thousands of sticklebacks, just maybe two months ago now. And it is just bone dry, like a desert. It's crazy, and believe it or not, there was actually some people in the comment section of the last couple of videos where I was catching carp from these puddles that suggested that I was probably fishing a pond and trying to imply that these were just floodwaters. As you can see, <laughs> that is not the case. Unbelievable. After hours and hours of searching the river and catching some specimen chub on the fly gear, I'd finally found a swim where the barbel were out in the open and this was my chance. Rolling tungsten putty up the line to make sure that rig stays down on the bottom. All I needed to do was make sure this bait got to the bottom past the chub and I'd have a good chance of catching one of these fish. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. Come on. Go on! We got a barbel! Oh! He's come off! Oh no! No! No, 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 no. I watched it take it. Oh, tungsten put is all over the place. Everything feels right. The fish in these conditions, even though it's horrible for casting, seem to be reacting well to the bait. I've had maybe three barbel take it, and um, unfortunately only one of them hooked and lost. So I don't know if to go for another red one. Like that. Maybe I'll try it, give it a go, see if it works. You never know, do you? 
some fish downstream. They look catchable. That's like a decent cast. Come on. Go on. Oh my god, we got one. We got one. Yes, yes, yes. My GoPro's got 10% battery and we've hooked a barbel. Oh my god. Yeah, the drag set, the drag set. Okay, it's not the biggest one down there, but we finally hooked one. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Oh my god. We've hooked a barbel on the fly. We've hooked a barbel on the fly. We've hooked a barbel on the fly. Please stay on. Please stay on. <laughs> I had one, uh, I had a person comment on my recent trout fishing video um, saying about how cringy the acting was in my videos. This isn't acting, it's just <laughs> it's how I am in all my sessions. If I catch something, especially when it's a target I really want like this, a barbel on the fly rod, on the fly, not on a squirmy worm either, on a conventional fly, like I don't know how anyone could not be hyped about that. Problem is it's a really, really weird swim to film in. I can't really set the big camera up and get a very good shot, but hopefully you can see all what's going on right now. We've got it, I'm fishing eight pound line, eight pound tippet I think it goes down to. Might be a little bit heavier because I have had to trim a bit off. There's virtually no direct bank access whatsoever, or access down to the water. Maybe that's why these fish are quite confident at taking these flies, because I've had a few fish that have either mouthed at the bait or that one that already got hooked and came off. And then there's another one. It's probably maybe the, the fourth or fifth fish that's, that's actually gone for these baits. Oh, I'm gonna really struggle to land this one. I should have thought about the banks. Last time I came to this stretch of river, the river was higher. I guess I didn't really anticipate for it to be coming down. It's dropped about a foot and a half to two foot since I last was on this stretch. And I didn't think I'd need a long net. Oh, come on, my hand's aching. I can't believe it. If I crouch down here, my butt's gonna get stung up by nettles. Just gotta take that into consideration. That'll mean I've caught a barbel on baits in the past, a barbel on a law, and now a barbel on the fly. If I can just get it into the net, please let it come into the net. I'll try and leave it as a running shot so you can actually see the fly in its mouth. So you know I'm not making it up. Uh, we've got it. We've got it, we've got it, we've got it. I'm gonna leave this shot running so you can see it. There's proof. <laughs> right, it's uh, right, a bit soft, smushy ground here. And let me just prove it to you guys. The proof is in not just the pudding, but in the shot itself. That is a conventional little fluffy fly and it is nailed perfectly in the top lip. Got a little red tail on it, black body. It seems to like that red coloration. That's incredible. Let's give him a rest and we'll take a look at him. <laughs> yes. Guys, it's a 40 mile an hour winds. I'm fly fishing and I've got a barbel in the net. <laughs> How awesome is that? I thought I'd give him a rest. I always give barbel a rest before. I show them to the camera and then after we show them to the camera it fought like stink I'm quite thankful it wasn't one of the big ones down there because there was some down there that possibly looked eight or nine pound the one I've got is probably about five but that is awesome I'm going to show them to you right now so that is it guys not a monster but as you can see there the little fly right on the roof of his mouth what a fantastic moment that was. I've now managed to catch a barbel on baits, a barbel on laws, and a barbel on the fly. Absolutely incredible. Conditions are horrific. I'm not a fly angler myself. It's 40 mile an hour winds. God knows how I manage that. Maybe a bit of luck, beginner's luck, I don't know. So that was it. We'd finally caught the barbel we were after on the fly. And I was tempted to go home, but looking at all those chub in the swim still hanging around, I couldn't help but have a few more casts. Oh, 
Oh yeah, it's perfect for one of those big chub. Small one's taking it. We got it, we got it. <laughs> Definitely not one of the big chub down there. But like I say, good consolation prize if I can land it. <laughs> and to say he's not one of the big ones, that is still a fantastic chub. There we go. That's a big chub. That is a big chub. Don't think it's one of the biggest ones that are down there. There has been a big bertha I've been after. I don't think it's big bertha, but it is a chub and it is not fighting very hard at all. <laughs> if we land it, this could be a fish I might actually want to weigh today. This could very well be the last fish of the session as well. And it's absolutely clonking chub. Come on, come on. We've got it in the net. Oh my God, what a beast. What an absolute beast. That could be one of the five pounders I've been after. Well, I can't believe it. I thought this fish might end up being a five pounder and it is just bang on five pound. Look at the size of that. Just caught on a nymph, just casting upstream letting it hit the bottom just before it reaches these fish and they're going down and picking it straight up off the deck i'm guessing that's where they're picking up the shrimp and nymphs and little invertebrates and look at that i've had a barbel on the nymph and now i've had a stonking chub to go with the other four or five chub i've caught today absolutely incredible session i can't ask for better i'm not a fly fisherman i'm going to assume this is a really really good day for a fly angler when it comes to course fishing or at least it is for me anyway. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Let's get it well rested and get it back. This could be the end now. Well guys, what a cracking session this has been on the fly. I am not a fly angler by any means. So this is sort of newish territory to me. I've been out maybe 10, 15 times before in the past, um, but to get maybe six chub um, on the nymph and then a barbel on the nymph as well is absolutely incredible. I didn't want to use a squirmy worm. I thought maybe it would be kind of classed as cheating in a way. And I managed to do it using a bait that I think actually looks probably a little bit like a maggot. Um, I think it was a type of nymph. I think I've caught all of these on nymph today. I have no idea. If you're a fly angler, please let me know how I've got on in the comments. Let me know what I've done wrong or what I've done right. But all in all, I've had a fantastic session. If you've liked it, don't forget to like the video. If you want to, feel free to subscribe and I'll catch you guys later.